guys, it's James from Shadowpunk.com and this is the presentation to the build video you're about to see. I realized without this opening, you'll have no idea what the fuck's going on, um, which would suck. You'd be watching the video going, that's really cool. What is he building? What is that? So the premise for this video is I was wondering if I could build body plate armor, like tactical plate armor, for a shit hit the fan scenario. This is not to replace your plate armor. Not that, well, if you're in the military and you're being shot at actively and you're required to and or need to wear, wear, wear plate armor, don't do this. <laughs> this is for some of my fellow survivalists and prepper friends, like myself, that want plate armor don't have the hundred, two hundred dollars more, more to spend on it. Um, for, you know, like, no one really wants a shit to hit the fan. It probably will, eventually. It may or may not be sort of Red Donny. You probably won't have to wear plate armor. But if you do, then it'll be nice to have. So, it's pretty, pretty far down my list of preps to get, you know, Food, yes. Uh, energy, energy, uh, you know, self-reliance, pretty far up there. Um, plate armor to be tactical, no, it's pretty far down. You need to, you need to take care of your shit. This important first, then get plate armor. Or AR five hundred needs to send me a plate. But until that happens, we can make our own, and this is a quick and easy build. Uh, probably, if I fractionalize the cost of the I-beam, um, because I spent $30 on a 100-pound metal I-beam, and I can make a lot of stuff out of that, and I am going to make a lot of stuff out of that. So, there's that. I spent $5 on a can of Plasti Dip. I meant to use it all. I ran out, I ran out of time. I could have sprayed a little more on it. I don't really think that it would have made a big difference. Um... Rhino liner would be a better bet. A can, a uh, like a pouring paint can of Plasti Dip would probably be better. Fiberglass cloth in there too would be better. Um, so I used it, the metal I beam. It was a hundred dollars. No, it was thirty dollars for a hundred pounds of it. I used probably between probably five pounds. We'll say probably five, maybe ten pounds. I didn't wait. I still have a lot of I beam left. I still have a ton of I beam left. Like. Yeah, I have a ton of I-beam left. You'll see in the video. So, you know, if I fractionalize that down, probably, you know, a lot less money. Um, a 58 cent ceramic floor tile that I got from Lowe's. Um, duct tape that I had laying around and the can of Plasti Dip. So total cost of this build, roughly estimating under, oh God, probably under 20. 20-ish, under 20, you know, I didn't weigh the piece of um, I-beam that I got, which was 30 cents a pound for scrap iron. So yeah, 100 pounds, I paid 30 bucks cash, you know, and it was a little bit over that. It was a little bit over, and he was like, Argh. we'll just round it down, buddy. So I'll be going back there, <laughs> lots of fun times. Um, so yeah, $20 over 150 is the quality there? No. Uh, will it keep you alive? You'll see in the shoot video. You'll see in the shoot video how it did. I know, because this is the future for me. Um, and probably way in the past for you. Who knows? But yeah. Will it work? I don't know. Um, I'm out 20 bucks, and I got to shoot some guns. So, works for me. Um, so enjoy the build video. Uh, and then... I will have a link at the end of the show notes for the shoot video where we test it, me and Couch Potato Mike, and see how it does. Which was a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah. Enjoy the build video. Enjoy the shoot video. Subscribe. I like when you subscribe. Do it. And uh, as always, guys, DIY to survive.
almost used that one up. We're almost through. This is only going to take like 10 cutting discs. Or, uh, let's see, I've used two. That's a third. <laughs> so maybe, maybe. Yeah, I couldn't find my, uh, my hammer. So pickaxe worked. That's what we're going for. Good enough. I think we're going to turn it over and put the plate on the other side. Alright, I don't actually have any of the right tools to do this, except for I have a, uh, a ceramic disc for my angle grinder, which may be terrible. That's not doing anything. We'll see if this goes horribly awry. Figuring if I go really... Or there's that. I mean, that's almost where I wanted it to be, to be honest. I almost couldn't have planned this any better. If you're at home cringing, stop. <laughs> I'm just going to shoot this anyway, it doesn't really matter. And I didn't want to spend money and buy, uh, like, fucking tile nips or something for something I'm going to shoot. As far as I'm concerned, this is working out pretty decently. Let's just tidy this up a little bit. And we know we need to be carefuler. <laughs> More careful. Carefuler! Obviously duct tape is critical for bulletproof plate armor, so you got to have duct tape. My thinking is it'll be, uh, it'll just help out, sort of cushion the, uh, the ceramic plate against the metal. I don't know. I'm just going to put down a layer of it. I had seen other people on YouTube do uh, fiberglass. They put down fiberglass. Which, granted, would work a lot better. But this build is going to be really cheap, so... Um, for, I paid 30 bucks for this whole... This whole, uh, I-beam. And I've got a lot of projects to do with it, so... Um, I was going to make an anvil out of it. I may still make... I may still do some blacksmithing on it. Because <clears throat> I still have enough area here. Or I may, uh... I may just cut it all down uh, and angle grind knives out of it. I don't know yet. We will see.
Although actually, I want to duct tape that to that as well. I want to duct tape the uh, ceramic down. Oh. The day is saved. I found more duct tape. I don't know how much a regular body plate cost, but this is pretty heavy. I, I had originally just intended to make this like as light as possible, um, which and still be useful. Um, that was sort of the criteria for this this build was, you know, it had to be wearable, so, and be effective. I guess we're trading off, well, I don't know, this could actually be a complete failure. Uh, my AR-15 could just blast right through this thing. This is pretty thick plate, though, so I kind of doubt it's going to just tear through it. Uh, I don't know. Or it may ricochet really badly and not be very good in that option, because, you know, you... You want your uh, you want the bullets. Actually, you don't want to be shot at all. <laughs> but if you're being shot at and you're wearing plate armor, you're wearing a body plate. You want it to you want it to keep the fragments. You want it to you know grab the fragments and not you know ricochet off to your plate armor into your face and then shatter your face and kill you that way. So, and I bet fiberglass here would have done a good job of that. So, if you take the DIY body plate challenge, you could do that. Um, I wanted to keep the build probably under 30 bucks. And I'm not counting the I-beam as being my 30 bucks because this is only a fraction of that. So, if you can just find the piece that you need from a scrapyard, you'll save a lot of money. Now we're playing. All right. Plassy dip. I'm more than likely going to use this entire can. That's that's my goal. After I get all my stuff out the way. And I realize I'm plasti dipping the top of my uh, anvil. Awesome. Which means that will have to be angle grinded off. I have a feeling they didn't really expect anyone to like spray the entire can at once and I may have to not do that. I may have to stop, let this dry, then come back to it. And it looks like it's sticking to itself pretty well. Hope I'm not getting any spray on the lens.